got a feeling about this one. We're seeing record braking speed and there's a lot of cars out there. Have a sneaking suspicion it's going to be frantic this afternoon. Let's have a look at our race facts here in the Hino Hub. Understand more about race 16 of our championship. 200 kilometres the journey, 65 laps time certain if we don't make the laps at 34 minutes past 3 o'clock. About 180 litres of Shell racing fuel required and the rules dictate you must drop 120 litres into a usable tank capacity of 110, so you've got to stop at least twice to achieve it. It's a little bit hard to calculate this number accurately at the moment because when you see record braking speed like we saw in qualifying earlier, these numbers get fuzzy, so we're having a hedge here, 2.6 to 2.7 litres per lap. They're therefore starting around about 56 litres and the range off the line to begin with will give you about 38 laps and a clean full tank will give you around about 40 laps. The critical lap where you can fuel up and get to the end is lap number 25 today. Considerations. This is very important around here. The traffic effect sitting in a queue of cars superheats the front brakes. It's hard enough to stop here successfully and straight. And when you're tucked in behind somebody, that's got to be managed. Now, yesterday we saw in the 120 kilometre race, and it has been historically the case, the undercut's difficult here since the resurfacing and these new grippy tyres. Lowndes yesterday came in very early and then paid a price, only took on two tyres and no speed at the end of the race. So the whole two or four tyre thing is probably falling in favour of two tyres. But if you need to save a second, you can grab two. Just factor it in the back of your thoughts as the race wears on. The overcut works here and Shane proved it again yesterday. That means run long, take four tyres late in the race and then with grip on your side, zapping through. Understanding that in a lap of around about 68, 69 seconds. A huge chunk is taken transiting the pit lane, plus standing still to do wheels, tyres and fuel today. Now, this safety car has been on long service leave here for a long time, so the probability is pretty low. So that's not something we can factor, although remember what I said right at the start of the segment, I reckon we've got to think about it today because there's a bit of frantic stuff going on out there. So alternate strategy, can't see a huge number of people doing this one, but with fuel on this side and laps on this side coming in early, grabbing the first dose and running out to about the critical lap and then taking it through to the end. Even tyre strategy basically deals with it like the name suggests and in terms of both fuel and tyres played evenly. But this one, I think, is the one that matters most to focus on. So this is our standard strategy, starting with about 56 litres of fuel, running down to about this zone and then taking a larger dose of fuel you can see fuel has diminished to this point. Now you top it back up and then get yourself beyond the critical lap, which is here, lap 25. Take the second shorter dose of fuel and get you to the end. Now I want to understand what happened in 2016 to bring it into context. This histogram shows us that that's pretty much what most people did last year. So more people came in around this zone of the race and then another bunch around about here and they ran out to the end. I can guarantee you that we're going to see some action this afternoon. This place always turns it on. 200 kilometres, 65 laps of QR to come.